Hello everyone, this is Skypecat242 and I'm going to share with you a box of stuff I picked up uh, just past Sunday at the local antique fair in my town. So the Sacramento Antique Fair, which is something I go to about once a month, well the last one I think they cancelled back in January and December and I missed the one in November. The last time I went was probably back in October but they had this one recently so I didn't really see much at first. I was about to leave until this one booth I came across saw this box right here and I don't know if you can see too well but there were some things that caught my attention here and mostly there were some Nintendo games that I wanted but the seller was not going to part with it she wanted to sell the whole box together and I had to think about it so she wanted 40 bucks and so I bit the bullet, I bought it. I had a general idea of what was in there, but I had yet to really pull through what the contents are, so we're gonna go through this right now. So I guess we'll start with the NES games and some of the Super Nintendo games that were in here, which was the main reason why I bought this. So we got Super Mario Brothers 2, Kid Icarus, and I actually don't have this. This is going straight to my collection. And the obligatory Super Mario Bros. Duck Hunt. So those were the three NES games in the box. And there was two Super Nintendo games. Uh, Super Mario World. And I think this is NFL Quarterback Club 96. So those are the only two Super Nintendo games in there. And there were a couple letdowns in here. So there was one random sealed game. Game Boy Advance game on Fabulous. So it's sealed, but it's not a very exciting game. Uh, for the GameCube, we have Tide, a Tasmanian Tiger. Now, unfortunately, when I opened this, uh, this was cracked. I have no clue how that even happened. So, but there was a memory card, and I can always use a spare memory card, so. Sucks about that disc, but I can use this spare case for something else. Um, there was another GameCube game in here. I think that's ATV2. It's an okay shape, but I can use this case in the memory card. And there was a random DS game. Uh, I had a Junior Dragon, but opened it up. It's not in there. So, well, I can use this case. So. Now we're going to go down to some stuff I didn't care about that was in here. So there was this Scooby-Doo plug and play game. A knockoff GameStop GameCube controller. This I have no clue, but from when I looked up, I think it was a, it says a the TV monitor? I'm not sure. I have no idea, but I have yet to see if this even worked. And then this, I've never heard of this, is a hyperscan. Apparently, this was a gaming console from early 2000s. I've never heard of it. I have yet to turn this on, but it does. I have a game in here already. Yeah, there's this X-Men game. And it did have the controller with it as well. And I think, yeah, oh yeah, so there was also some V-Smile games. I these are, these are junk, but I'm gonna toss those out. I'm trying to think what else is in here. Oh, there's a knockoff. I think that's a I think that's a knockoff GameCube memory card. Yeah, I think it is. And then there was also some Atari games, uh, mostly for the 2600. So I do not collect Atari games before my time, but I do have appreciation for it because I do remember playing these um, in elementary school, but. I'm not going to go through all of them. I'm just going to go through these really quick. I think there's probably about 20 Atari games in here, but some of them are missing labels. 
but oh, there is a Spider-Man. I do remember playing this. Yeah, so yeah, more Atari games. So, I'm probably going to take these two one up and get store credit with these. I'm probably not going to get much because I know most Atari games don't really um, are sought after. But, you know, I can still get store credit with these. But everything else, I'm um, probably going to toss out. The Nintendo games for sure, probably, it will be keep them. Probably going to replace my other Mario 2. This has a much better label, but... I think it was a pretty okay purchase for 40 bucks. I'm pretty pleased, even though there was some junk in there. But let's take a look at that again. So all that 40 bucks. So wasn't too bad. Um, feel free to leave a comment down below, and hope you enjoyed watching.